Hello, right, so I'm going to cover how to use Excel styles for dynamic color formatting in Excel. In this following model, we have a simple business plan to analyze various insurance products. It's from our assumptions inputs, through to the respective benefits table of each insurance product. Then to our comparative analysis table. And then to our more high level summary analysis. By creating a new cell style, we can achieve a dynamic approach to our business planning as in the following. By building a new cell style, we can achieve a more useful way to achieve uniform, robust and seamless color formatting. And once implemented, the spreadsheet user can quickly modify the style, i.e. the fill color, as opposed to cycling through the entire workbook and changing each instance of the color format. So in this example, we're only going to stipulate the fill in the style window. And then under Format Cells, under the Fill window, we're going to select our colour. We can now apply this new cell style, Prod 1, as in Product 1, which is appearing in the Cell Styles window now. We then go to the respective areas of our Business Planning spreadsheet and select this prod one, which is this orange color. Clearly by applying this approach to color formatting in business planning, it enables the implementation or rollout of a company-wide template, which still offers users the flexibility and option to change cell fill colors, but in a controlled environment via Excel styles. So once implemented for this one product, at a later date we can easily modify or change the fill colour. We can now proceed to create additional cell styles for our other two products. Again by going to Styles, New Cell Colour, New Cell Style, and creating our own style name, Prod2. and unticking all the style parameters except fill. And then selecting on the format cells our new fill color. Just as we did with the first cell style, we can simply go in to the second product across our worksheets and implement the cell style. The reason for only implementing the fill component of the cell style is that we don't want to override any existing cell formatting such as the border formats in this following business planning module. And again we can create our third Excel style, Prod3. Across the respective Product3 areas of this spreadsheet. So quickly going through that, we can execute on that.
and quickly understand the added value of the Excel cell styles. So now what happens if we want to modify one of these cell styles? We simply go to the styles window and right click modify and make the relevant changes. So in this example we're just going to simply change the color and once executed our cell style for our third product is implemented across all the areas. This is a simple application in Excel, yet it's a powerful tool to enhance and uphold the notion of best practice financial modelling.